Hi, my name is Roger Ottaway, and welcome to my 2019 Ford Transit Van Conversion Series. I'm going to show you how I made my luxury van. I'll be highlighting how I only added 2,500 pounds to the van, and I'll show you some special features, such as the shower build, the bed build, and how I stacked my batteries on top of the water tank to gain full, full access to my garage area. Follow my series, and I'll show you what I did. Thanks. As you can see, this is what I ended up with. Um, I really wanted to do both sides at one time, but it didn't seem like it was going to be possible to do it that way. And I say that because every time you try to do one side, it's hard enough just trying to get one up there to block up, let alone try to do two sides to block up, which I've already done once, and that's not really easy to do. But I have the panel in there, and I'm going to let this for overnight go ahead and seal for overnight. And then I'll come back tomorrow and I'll do the other side um, again doing the same thing and bracing it up so it can have a, a good seal because um, it needs to be sealed good. I put a whole, uh, a whole tube of that uh, um, liquid nail on the back of this on both pieces so hopefully that will do the job and hold it on because I certainly don't want it to come off because uh, there's nothing to nail it to in there. I will be able to hold it in a little bit by, by the frame that I'm going to build, which is going to be a quarter inch uh, finished plywood, you know, cabin quality plywood I'm going to use. So that will be the framing, which would be about a three inch frame going around that, boxing that in, so to speak. Um, I just had to get that in before I made the box part, which will go up against that, and that will kind of hopefully hold it in somewhat, because it will be, matter of fact, I might glue that in. Uh, to that piece just just for the sake of keeping things intact so um, as a matter of fact I will now glue that that box in there as well so that would help out okay well anyways that's enough for tonight gotta go eat dinner Just like everything else, I have two hands and I need three. But this is kind of what it's going to be like. Only this is going to be a little higher up. It's going to be at the top. But right now I've got it just at the bottom because it's. I just want to see how it lays out, the square wise. 
See, it's shorter here, and it gets a little bit wider at the other end. So it's a, it's a graduated, and you can see right here, I'm thinking about sticking a, you know, a piece of wood on top of here to add strength across it, which will be just a little bit. So. I'm going to be looking at that because that's that way this it's, I'm, my fear is this is going to sag over time if I don't give it some kind of support whether I support it by sticking something in the middle where it just has somewhere to hang on to um, or stick a, a board across the top you know one small maybe one by you know a half inch or, or a one by or whatever going all the way down here to the end just a, one, one piece that will hold the strength and I can tap it into it because it's not going to go anywhere when it's inside of this because this is over here so let me go dig up some of that stuff and see uh, see how it looks so I've got this one by stuff sitting in there and I'm not sure if it's too big to get in here like that's going to work, which is putting this one, putting this one piece and I'm going to stick it pretty much right on the edge here so I can use it as a grabber or anything else that needs to be grabbed onto like something up here needs to be tapped in so that's that's going to look like it could be good so so I'm going to cut a piece whoa, 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 whoa dang don't Cut a piece exactly the same length of this. So let me go do that. And I'll be right back. take a moment and explain to you how I how I create this curve because there's a slight bend on this just slightly over on this side that side's a little bit more but over here you can see that there's there's like a quarter or an eighth of an inch or so on this gap in here it's okay up here okay down here but it slides in down in this area in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I scribe and create that angle with something merely as simple as this, a piece of wood and a, and a, and a pencil, so, you know, a little hole put it in there and I just stick the pencil in the hole, okay? through here but what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll run across some of those areas where they are a little loosey-goosey and I'll straighten them out according to the uh, one across the way and that will hopefully correct my angle here a little bit I'll show you how that came out. Oops. So, see here, I just corrected that little small jigger in there. That's that area right there where I couldn't get a grab on the wall. 
but I just use this angle. Same thing, but on the other side, so that should, that should power me up to where I need to be. So, all I need to do now is just cut this out, stick it up there, and I'll trim off the back side a little bit, and then we're going to have, then we'll have that side completed. I mean, you could set this thing up, you could set this thing in there, but it's going to look awkward with just, uh, you know, a little scratch and hole in there. Now, I probably could bury that with a, you know, with using a molding strip, which I'm going to use anyways, but, but I still like to get it closer because it's good practice for when I get to other areas in here, I'm going to have the same problem. So it's just going to keep me um, up to date on how to do this and keep me as, uh, I guess, um, as uh, accurate as possible by just practicing doing this. So this is a good practice thing. All right, well, let's, let's go cut this baby out and see what we got. This is about three inches. Uh, two and five eighths down here, three inches on that end. Because it kind of goes down the wall. So I kept it at the, because it narrows at the end of the truck here. The end of that. So I kept it to its, to its natural contour. But I'm gonna get two and five eighths here, three inches over there. Add that together, that's about five to six inches depending on where you're at. And additional, what I didn't have until I bumped this out. If I not bumped it out, it'd have been straight here at the edge. I'd have lost, this would have been behind the wall, and I would have lost the whole area of it. And I've seen some people do this for a whole inch, just this much. I would never do it for an inch, but I certainly would do it for two and a half or three inches, for sure. So that's what I did. I did it. I mean, it, this was probably a good 30 hours or 40 hours worth of labor trying to figure this thing out. But it's probably my worst, probably worst of what I'm going to be doing wood-wise in here um, because I'm going to uh, pick up the uh, solar, the solar stuff. I'm going to pick up tomorrow. I'm going to Flagstaff pick up my solar unit and all of the parts that go along with it and uh, so that whole thing is going to start soon. Uh, so I better get my butt in gear because I got all my stuff here now and now I got to start putting it all in. Scary to say the least. Scary. But not impossible. Nothing I can't figure out but it is a little you know it's different when you haven't done it before and so you're trying do something new and different. That's the purpose of why I'm doing this in the first place, because I'm looking for a challenge. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. That, I kind of like to have a van on wheels to, to sleep in, you know? And, and naturally, you know, something that I build myself is a lot better than buying it already done, because it has no meaning. This will have a lot of meaning, because it's got me in it. You know, with my, my ideas, my concepts, and my labor. Um, I'm trying to do this 100% me, so see how far I can get if I can do it all the way through without having help. Anyway, there it is. Done.